Hey guys, welcome to a new game. This is a game called Scrap Mechanic, and oh my goodness, is this thing so much fun. I've just been having, like, a blast just building things in here because it is just absolutely adorable and just so crazy how you can make amazing little inventions. It's pretty much the redstone side of Minecraft if I were to sum it up for you guys. Oh no. So this game, it's pretty much just the creative version of Minecraft mixed with sort of the building style of the siege, I guess, you could relate it to. And you just get to make fun things and, you know, drive around in them and have a blast. It is an early access, but we're just going to be having some fun today building some new things. And I kind of want to show you guys what I've been working on, because I've been working on some crazy things over here. Oh man, I've spent so many hours just figuring out how to operate the different machines. And pretty much today, we're going to continue that journey. But this is a pretty basic car going on here, nothing too complex. The game is really simple to understand. It has like a lot of just really simple mechanics. And then you just combine them onto each other to make pretty complex things, which pretty much is redstone in Minecraft. You know, it's pretty simple, pretty simple circuitry. And then you just put them together to make really awesome looking things. So that's what we are going to be doing today. So I'm really excited to embark on a new journey. All right, so let me very briefly explain the simple mechanics behind this game in case any of you guys haven't seen this thing before, but it is just so simple to understand. I think it'll just work so much better if I just show you guys the basics real quick and then we can get into building some pretty complex and crazy things. So this is pretty much the entire game. That little bearing right there, that little yellow circle, that's all you guys gotta know, because that's pretty much the only feature so far in the game. Now, I'm sure they're gonna add more. This is an early access game, but for now, they just have this little bearing. But the amount of things you can do with this guy is insane. So, we just have a pull stick in here in the ground, and we can go ahead, attach something to the bearing there. And if we attach something to this guy, you can see it sort of sways back and forth, and we can sort of build off of this. So, we got this sort of object sitting there and now this is pretty cool this is called a controller and we can actually go ahead and attach these two things up so we're going to tell this guy to spin 360 so that is or no we'll do it we'll tell it to do a 180 so that's half a circle and then it's just going to stop so we're just going to go ahead and grab ourselves a little switch now and then you just got to attach the switch up to the controller and that's pretty much the entire game right there so i'm telling the controller to spin that 180 degrees around and it's working off of when I push this switch so when I push the switch the controller tells the bearing to spin it 180 degrees push it again spins it back the other way that's pretty much the entire game and I know it seems really simple like this but you can do some crazy things with this so for example this car over here we got the little bearings on the tires and those are making the tires spin around and then we have two bearings up here at the front and those are just changing the direction of the tires. And then we have that guy attached to a seat. So very simple, you can see I can turn those wheels at the front left and right. And then if I wanna go forward, you just gotta push that button. And we have the little engine on the back there and that just makes it so that it has some power and stuff like that. So it's really simple, you know, the basics behind it, but the amount of things that you can do with this is just, oh no, oh no. They added these crazy looking conveyor belts into the game and these actually make the thing go up and down, which is pretty, pretty helpful. That just helps you, you build in it, and then you can just remove it and hop on your car and ride off into the sunset. Alrighty, so enough with the basics. We pretty much, oh no. Oh, I did that on purpose. Totally, 100%. Um, I pretty much explained the entire game to you guys. That's pretty much all they have so far. It's pretty basic, but oh my gosh, there's so much you can do with it. And I'm sort of working on that over here in this house and we're going to try to build a little more on this house today and also maybe add some attachments to make that car a little bit cooler so the plan for the house um, I am trying to build a house that can transform and move into different objects and stuff like that so right now it's pretty you know pretty basic you got some weird things going on down here you don't really know what's happening um, but let me show you guys what I actually have working is this guy working no that guy's not working okay this is what I have working so far. Da 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 da! Ta da! That took me three hours! <laughs> I'm not even joking on that. It is so freaking hard to make things move like that, like straight up and down in this game. Because keep in mind, 
All you have are these little circles that spin things. And I had to somehow figure out how to make it move up and down like that. Like, it was so difficult, man. I also designed this uh, cute little staircase here. I really like the looks of it. Look at that guy. That's adorable. Um, but yeah, it is crazy hard how I actually managed to get this working. Um, unfortunately, the switch is up here. You know what we can do? Down and then connect it up. Okay, so pretty much how it's working, you can see we got a bunch of spinny things underneath. And they're just like little arms that extend upwards in a straight line like that. So you can see here. Uh, let me. All right, here we go. So you can see it sort of just goes straight up and straight down like that. That was so difficult for me to understand how spinny objects work, dude. Oh my gosh. But it actually works now. And it looks pretty cool from up above, too. Oh, that's adorable. And then basically, I'm going to have this sort of be a home that can move and transform. With the push of one button, we're gonna try to make it look like a completely different home. That's our goal. So the next step in the process, this was, oh, that's not the right button, is it? It's down here. Boop, and then, oh, I missed it. Dang it, all right, we'll move you back upstairs. But the purpose of this thing, I wanna build a house that can actually change location. That seems to be like the awesome thing to do now. So we're gonna be trying to transform this house and do some movable object and then maybe we can even take that car and keep it in here but this house it's pretty gigantic so we're gonna need a lot of tires instead of moving it around but we do have a good start to it so it'll just be like hey it's a normal empty house and then you push this button boom chairs pop up from down below alrighty so the next step I actually have a pretty good start on and we're going to be trying to move all these walls and this wall here and the ceiling we're gonna be trying to basically flip it over on top of that now I had so much trouble with this that I sort of tried to do it into four different sections that seemed to be like the best way to go because we're moving so much wall here and it like sort of bounces off of each other and stuff like that so basically we got to try to make this thing work it's been bugging out on me a lot which guy is it I think it's this guy okay I'm going to basically program this up all right, so this guy should be set up negative 180, and if we go upstairs, we should see it. Awesome, that half opened up. And so you can see our house, it's slowly transforming. It's like gonna slowly open up, dude. All right, this should be the final guy flipping backwards, and now we have a nice, beautiful open house. And this was the last thing that I programmed, this little staircase, and I'm hoping, awesome, that guy just slides right out. And it's actually going to allow you to hop up here. Oh, no. Oh, no. We have a problem. Uh-oh. That guy's a little bit off-centered. Oh, no. Oh, goodness. All right. We're going to try to rotate it back the other direction. What in the world? Oh, my gosh. I had the speed on fast. Okay. Okay. That was not good. Are all these correct? I hope so. Oh, no. For some reason, that guy's stuck. Why is that guy stuck? All right, well, possibly half my house is broken. All right, we're going to try to flip you. Oh, nope, that was the wrong button. Okay, thank you, chairs, for popping up. You guys can go back down. Um, so basically, the goal is supposed to have the walls move over and then slam down like this. And then you have both of the ceilings coming in, or the floors, depending on how you look at it. And they're just going to come in like that. But for some reason, that guy got stuck. And I'm not sure why. So we're going to try to... I'm thinking if I move the house over here, it'll reset, hopefully. All right, let's go for it. Oh, no. I'm stuck. Get me out. Get me out. Okay. Um, so let's see now. Is it... Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and push the button. The ceilings move back. Awesome. And then those guys move back. Awesome. And then if we come over here, we can hopefully push this button. The stairs move in the way. We can head upstairs. And then this way, it sort of makes a second floor up here. So that way you have two places you can go while the guy is moving. And then we can push this button. Which button is it? No, it's not that guy. This guy? Yeah. And then this, this, the, the, the seats come up. And then we're going to be able to drive away, hopefully. I don't know. But that's, that is a great start. That took me so many more hours than it should have. But hey... It was worth it, I think. I don't know. I learned the mechanics, though. That was the main part. While I was building this, I had no idea what was going on. 
Dude, I love that thud when, oh my gosh, when the walls hit. And then we have the staircase here, and the staircase is going to hopefully pull back like that. Awesome. All right, so a thing that I need to have happen is I need this staircase to pretty much be hidden other than when you pull it out. And when you pull it out, that's that's when you're going to be seeing it. But when when you don't, when it's not like out here like this, I want it to pretty much be hidden. So that means we're going to need to have a wall here of some sorts, and then we're going to need the wall to be able to move backwards and sort of cover it up. So the only way I can imagine doing that is we're going to have to rotate this guy around. We're going to build a wall here, sort of, and then we can build a wall. We'll rotate that again over here, just like that. And that way, the staircase will be hidden inside of this guy. All right, awesome. Something like that. So you can see the staircase is like here. And then we have the wall behind it. And let me go ahead and attach that guy up. So we're going to attach you to you over here. All right, so the wall we have now, you can see the staircase 100% hidden. You can't see it at all. It just looks like a little box here. But if I go over here and try to bring the staircase out, it's going to get cut on the wall. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is pull this guy to the side. So we're going to do that by we already connected them up. So we're going to have to pull that guy which direction in the counterclockwise direction first, right? So we'll do U, 90 degrees, and then we'll tell the staircase to pop out. So let's go ahead and give it a try. So, oh no. Oh no, we're running into some issues here. Okay, I think I figured out what the issue was. So for some reason they're opening, and when they open they sort of collide into each other. But I think that the problem is the back wall, that's what it seems to be bumping on there. The back wall is actually, oh man, come on, get out of here. The back wall is actually the problem. So you can see it's completely hidden like this, but then when I tell it to open up, the back wall is what it catches on. So let's go ahead, we'll delete this back wall here, and now is it going to work? Awesome, awesome, now it's working. Uh-oh, why do we have a hole? Why do we have a hole in the side of our thing? Get rid of that. And now it actually works, and then it will close and hide away. I put it on a really long delay for now. Let's see if it actually closes, though. Come on. There we go. Hidden staircase. Awesome. That was that was actually really, really nice. So we'll open it up. So I need to make the wall, I need to extend it a little bit to there-ish, right? Yeah. Awesome. And now, while the staircase is out, I guess we'll just have this guy open like there's no point in closing it because it'll just be like a half door and it won't actually close will it no no it won't so we'll just have it like that we'll have a door sort of open up we'll just say it's a feature even though it wasn't really on purpose but hey hey we'll roll with it all right well our magical transforming house seems to be coming along quite a bit you can see it's sort of just like a normal house right now I haven't really spent the time to decorate it yet. We still have a lot of windows to carve out and stuff like that. Heck, we haven't even finished the bottom. So there's going to be so many more things that we're going to add sort of secret rooms in here. And we're just going to try to stuff a whole bunch of cool just rooms and hidden things inside of this crazy house. And by the way, these two little benches that you see sort of hiding here in the final design this is going to sort of be a wall here, so it'll look like this from the bottom, and that looks like, you know, that looks pretty nice, and then that'll just be where these two seats are hiding and ready to pop out at any time. The only thing that's pretty much finalized is this groovy looking staircase here that I sort of carved out, and look how nice it looks, man. Like, when you spend your time with these blocks, dude, you get some really nice looking, some really nice looking things. Okay, coming up, you can see it's just a normal house. There's nothing here other than a little radio box in the corner. But it's just like a normal, normal empty house. But if we go ahead and push this button, oh, the ceiling pops off and slams back. And then the walls pop off and slam back. And then we push this button. Some chairs pop out. And then we push this button. And a staircase opens up. So we added a whole nother level to our house which is pretty awesome we might be able to put like I don't know we could just put like a little uh, say pretend use our little imagination here a little bench like that that could work like that's a cute little bench the only problem is though when we go ahead and close our house um, there's going to be a bench on the ceiling and that that doesn't look so hot 
That doesn't look so hot, does it? <laughs> okay, okay, we'll, we'll get rid of that guy. Oh man, deleting is a little bit annoying. We'll just delete. Oh no. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, but awesome. I am so happy with how this thing is looking out now. There were so many flaws and so many times I had to rebuild this stupid part that opened and closed because it got stuck or broke or the game crashed or something. But finally, finally, we have it working perfectly now and it just looks absolutely amazing. Now, obviously in the final design, we're going to queue all these buttons onto one so that way it'll be like a thousand things are happening at once stairs are popping out things are coming from the ceiling walls are closing just cool things and we'll just sort of have it all on one button so that way there's just gonna be some secret button in the back you just push it just cool stuff starts happening things start popping out you start walking on ceilings oh my gosh this is gonna be the coolest house ever alright so something I wanted to test out here real quick was sort of I wanted to upgrade my car back here, you know? It's an R8 car, but I wanted to make it look a lot more epic and add a lot more features. Now, obviously we're not gonna be able to do, oh man, you can sort of sink it into the ground a little bit. We're not gonna have enough time to upgrade it like crazy, but I did wanna add in at least a few features. And these are, these are gonna be some fast features. Yeah, we are going, we are going pretty, pretty fast here. I also wanted to add in a few more wheels now could, do you think we could just sneak a couple in here like that all right here we go oh yeah man this thing's going to be awesome jeez look how look how crazy it's looking you know what we can even make it look cooler by adding in like some larger holes here make it look like it has wings oh yeah yeah now we're cool um we're gonna need two of these but I would like to know if you guys would be interested in seeing some more of this game in the future. I sort of just wanted to do a video, you know, showing the overview, some of the things I've been working on, and just having fun with this game. Obviously, it fits great with Minecraft and all that cool, you know, coming up with different inventions and stuff like that. Um, so if you guys want to see me, you know, sort of creating some cool things on here and giving you guys tutorials and stuff like that, um, feel free because I am more than happy to to be doing some videos on that so we have those guys those guys are connected here let me test this out those guys are gonna go when I push forward awesome we got some jet power baby uh, let's go ahead and connect up the wheels now so we have to connect these up to the engine I believe now engines are a little weird you can only connect four tires to one engine and then you connect the engine up to the driver's seat, right? And then we'll do this engine. Holy crap, this is a lot of connecting. Go ahead, test it out now. Oh, we're blasting off. Oh my goodness, we are going fast. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, oh no, we're, we're stabilized though. Would you look at that? Oh crap, oh no, oh no, oh no. Tip it over. Oh my gosh, does this thing look goofy with the holes in it. I'm kind of inspired to build a spaceship now. That seems, that's the next thing I want to work on. But yeah, definitely plan on seeing more of this game in the future because it is just so cool being able to create some crazy things like this. And then obviously as the game gets updated and added more features to it and stuff like that, I can't wait to see what they're going to add to it and what crazy things we can come up to build. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot to turn these engines on. Okay, well, that's going to like triple our speed now. Oh no. Now we're going to be going a million miles an hour. I can't even control it, dude. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Let's take it slow. I want to find a nice straightaway. Dude, it's going so fast I can't even control it. Oh crap, dude. I don't even have them all facing in the right direction. All right, here we go. This time, awesome. This time the car actually works. We're, we might have it on a little bit too fast. Oh no, we're just gonna, oh no. Oh my goodness. This thing's even, this is going to be impossible to drive. Oh my gosh, what did I make? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh no. Do a flip. Do a flip. Yes, do a flip. Awesome. Oh no. Oh my goodness. I can't even control it, dude. I'm not even touching the ground. Holy crap. All right, I put the engines on about halfway, so this should be the comfortable driving speed. Awesome. That speed seems perfect. Okay, 
Okay. Did I build something that's half decent? It's a little bit light. I feel like we should make it out of like a more hefty material, but for the most part, dude. Oh, look at this thing go. Look at this thing go. I need to work on the turning, definitely. I, I probably need to work on a lot of things. Oh, geez. All right, here we go. Come on, let's have a nice straightaway. Yeah, this thing, it's half decent, dude. Oh, and I hit a rock. But look at it, I'm still good. I'm still good. The turning isn't the best. I can definitely upgrade that. But just for general, oh no. Oh no, that was a big pebble. All right, here we go. We're off. Where's our house at? I sort of lost the house, which probably isn't good. Oh no, I'm a little worried now that the house is just missing. That could be really, oh no wait, I think I see it there. Jeez, oh man, this thing. Why, why is it so light? It's like super duper light, dude. I just need to add like a ton of just counterweights to it and just pull it down. Or maybe I could build with a heavier material. That's probably the solution there and not have a bunch of holes inside of it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. I know I just have so much fun playing it, dude. Look how, look at this. Look how cool that looks. And then, oh my gosh, just the animations that you can make with this thing of just being able to close crazy contraptions like that and have those guys just sneak away without even being seen and then having the walls come in and boom, you're inside of a normal house all of a sudden. Oh my gosh, there's just crazy things you guys can do with this game and I can't wait to get started. So here's to a new adventure and hopefully a new awesome game that we are dipping our hands into. And tell me what you guys think of it and if you want to see more of it. Anyway, my name is Crew, hopefully you all enjoyed and yeah, I will see you guys next time. Adios. Blink a little bit. We'll see that the yellow arm moves forward, it grabs the door out of the wall, then the door gets pulled to the side, this thing comes back and gets out of the way, and then a nice bridge opens up and allows us to cross over. Now was that cool or what? So many different things happen there, man.